it doesn't matter if you're trying to cause a narcissist pain and harm or not. Those with an ego this fragile are absolutely just bound to get hurt. That being said, here are the top five things that bring the pain to a narcissist. Number five, your life doesn't stop. A narc would really like to think that everyone lives or dies based on them being in their lives or not. It hurts a narcissist when they see that your life didn't end because they're no longer a part of it. They see you or hear about, in some cases, you moving on. Maybe you move away. Maybe you travel, buy a house, get an upgrade, get a new job, find a new partner. And that makes it even more devastating for a narcissist and makes them extremely upset. The ego of a narcissist gets affected very deeply when they see somebody who is not only surviving, but thriving without them. Major, major ouchie is inflicted right here. Now, they might not share this information or be very vocal about it, that it bothers them, but you might have seen glimpses of this in a relationship with someone toxic and narcissistic. Have you ever noticed maybe they're a little bit hung up on their ex? They can't seem to let it go. They're keeping tabs on this person. Maybe they want you to keep tabs on this person. And it's very clear that they're having a hard time letting go. That might be an indication that their ex has burned them and the narcissist is having a hard time dealing with that and having a hard time getting over it. Number four, it hurts when supply goes silent. Now, I'm not here for judgment. <laughs> That's not my job. But if you're going silent on a narcissist, to make them angry or to maybe try to get them to realize how much you mean to them. If you're giving them a silent treatment because you're angry, if you've ghosted them, none of my business. But what I can tell you is silence hurts a narcissist. This is all about power and control. A narcissist needs both of these things to feel really good about themselves and feel in control of the relationship. They really like that. Even if it's only for a short while, you are showing you have the power and you control the narrative when you are silent. Narcs feel like maybe you're trying to hurt them or punish them, and maybe you are, again, not my business. But for a lot of them, your silence taps into insecurities and issues that they have, possible abandonment issues and other things. They don't soon forget that you could walk away and not care. Once more, even if only for a short while, you going silent for even a day or two shows that you have the potential to leave forever. That strikes fear in a narcissist. Again, it hits the insecurities, awakens those abandonment issues, and I believe it causes even more fear. Number three, nothing more killer than being dumped. Now, nobody likes being dumped, okay? But we're not here to talk about regular, more normal, quote unquote, well-adjusted people. We're talking about childish little brats with an ego problem. And for them, it hurts even worse. Imagine how bad it must be to get dumped when you think you're perfect. When you have the attitude of, you're not leaving me, I'm leaving you. Nobody ever leaves somebody who's perfect. Oh boy. <laughs> anyway, I'm not just talking a breakup either. I'm talking about what hurts them the most is what I call a clean break. A clean break hurts the most because what I mean by a clean break is you leave at a time of your choosing on your terms, with your power, with your dignity. You immediately initiate no contact. They are blocked across the board. Your friends and family are aware of this and have also blocked and disowned them. Your mutual friends, you realize they're not mutual friends if they can be friends with your abuser and you leave them where they are. You don't post a thing about it on social media. You're not sad. You're not mad. In fact, you're quite aloof and you're going to dinner with your friends tonight. You get into therapy, you don't allow a Hoover, and if one does get through, you don't entertain it. That is a fantastic, beautiful, perfect, clean break when they're in your life and then they're gone forever and they're not allowed back in. That is how you win. The ultimate win, as a matter of fact, shutting it down, shutting it all down, leaving, closing up shop, and then not even seeming bothered in public or social media. Nothing better. That is an absolute 
flawless victory. For understanding and support, feel free to reach out to me to talk about your situation. You can reserve a time to chat with me by visiting jess-danley.square.site. Fear not, that's a mouthful. A link to get started is right down in the description for you. Now, being dumped and blocked and forgotten hurts pretty bad, but there's a couple of things that hurt worse than that as far as narcs are concerned. Number two, the narcissistic injury. Now, a narc injury can really be anything that hurts the ego and survivor, you and I both know, that is a long list. But we're going to go for the top things that cause the worst pain for the ego. So humiliation slash embarrassment, especially public exposure and heavy criticism. Public humiliation can cause a narcissist to pack up and leave town. I kind of lump embarrassment in with humiliation, although I feel like humiliation like sounds worse, but I'm not here to be a dictionary, so I'm lumping them together. Exposing a narcissist is so painful to them because not only do they lose out on potential supply, they can lose current supply. And since you are the one exposing them, now they're also afraid of you, so they don't have you to go to either. They can go from having dozens of options to none all at once because everybody will realize, ew, this is the way you treat people. Yeah, how about no thanks? Exposure can be detrimental to a narc's plan. Criticism causes so much pain because this pops the little fantasy bubble that all narcissists live in, where they're the most beautiful, most handsomest, most smartest, most bestest of all, whatever. But when you pop that bubble, they get a little brief reminder that they suck and that bothers them. And depending on what you're criticizing them on, that can stick with them for a very long time, especially if you're tapping a particularly deep insecurity, something where you already know that they're struggling in that department, maybe their looks or their weight or their intelligence. If you tap an already sore nerve, that doesn't go away in the blink of an eye. The number one thing that hurts a narcissist the most is being outsmarted. Narcs, overt or covert, it doesn't matter. Whatever label you want to stick on these people, they think they're the smartest damn people in the room. Even the dorky, meek, mild little covert ones won't say it out loud and they'll pretend to be the victim and the underdog, but they still think that they're the evil genius in the room and the rest of us mouth droolers can't keep up with their superior intelligence. That's why if you do things like leave on your terms, make that court case go in your favor, or somehow best them when they think they can't be beaten, it causes not only some egg to be on their stupid little face, but it definitely is something that sticks with them. Have you ever done anything on this list? Let me know down in the comments. Also, did I miss anything that hurts a narc right in their little ego? Tell me about it as well. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day, Survivor, and take care of yourself.